Hi, this is Robert Stennett, and I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about my Windows Phone, the latest upgrade Mango to it, and one of the very cool features that has recently come with Mango, and that is the text-to-speech option. Um, you may have heard a lot of talk about the uh, new iPhone and its text-to-speech. Well, this is something that Windows Phone has actually had since its first iteration, but it's been greatly expanded with the new Mango update. Uh, just for a point of reference, uh, the phone I'm using here is a Samsung Focus, <clears throat> which is running the latest Mango update. So it's quite uh, simple if you have a Windows phone to get this to work. All you have to do is press and hold your Windows button, which in this case is down here on the very bottom of the Focus. It'll be listening for your message. So in this case, we're going to tell it, in fact, I'm going to go back because it probably picked up all my talking there. I'm going to ask it to open up the Weather Channel application. So just press and hold Windows. Open Weather. Starting Weather. And it starts Weather Channel application. And whatever applications you have on your phone, you can have it you know, open them automatically. In addition to that, you can also uh, text people with their voice. So we'll do this again. We'll press and hold the Windows button. Text Dominique. Texting Dominic on my iPhone. Say your message. Hi, Dominic. This is Robert. I'm just giving a demonstration of my new Windows Phone Mango. Hi, Donnie. This is Robert. I'm just getting a demonstration of my new Windows Phone Mango. You can say send or try again. So you can see it does pretty well. It did miss uh, one thing. Instead of Dominic, it picked up Donnie. So, um... You know, uh, no text-to-speech is perfect, but, you know, it does a pretty darn good job, um, especially once you get used to it. You have to learn to enunciate clearly, and, uh, and especially for folks with an uh, accent of some sort. Hi, Donnie. This is Robert. I'm just getting a demonstration of my new Windows Phone Mango. You can say send or try again. Try again. Say your message. We'll just cancel out of that. Unfortunately, it didn't like the fact that it had to wait on me. Uh, so not only can you use the text-to-speech to send things like text, open applications, uh, but if we press our search bar and go into Bing, you're going to notice down here there's a microphone as well. So I can press that. Um, search on Windows Phone. And uh, it, like I said, it picked up what we were saying before. So let's give this a clean start. We're going to Bing, we're going to hit search, we're going to use the microphone. Windows Phone Mango. And there we go, it's doing a search on Windows Phone Mango for us. Uh, so, yeah, this is pretty cool, especially for people that's on the go. Um, and uh, by all means, you should never, ever text and drive. And I highly suggest that if for whatever reason, you have to do something on your phone while driving. Pull over. You know, text-to-speech is a great option, but you still should keep your eyes on the road and not be fooling with your phone when you're driving, whether it be text or using your voice. But text-to-speech is great. You know, uh, sometimes you know it's hard to type, especially if you have big hands like some of us on uh, mobile keyboards. So text-to-speech is a great way to uh, sort of help you along there. You know, it's one of the cool features that a lot of people don't know that's in Mango. Um, and, you know, like I said, there's been a lot of buzz about what's in the new iPhone, but this is something that, of course, Windows Phone has. It's had in the past. It's been greatly enhanced, and uh, for those of you cur curious, uh, it's based on uh, a company that Microsoft acquired a few years back uh, using TellMe technology. So um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration of one of the cool features in Windows Phone Mango. Uh, I'm Robert Stinnett, and thanks for watching.